Good day and welcome to our midweek devotional time. I'd like to invite you after this short devotional to join with me for communion. So if you would like to get some bread and some juice so that you will be ready to participate, that will be wonderful. Today I want to read from Jesus Calling again, actually Jesus always this time, Sarah Young. And this little devotional talks about how God, the Living One, always sees us. That He is more fully and gloriously alive than we could ever imagine. Someday we will see Him face to face in all of His glory. And when this happens, we are going to be awestruck. Now though, we see through a glass darkly. Our view of God is obscured because of our fallen condition. Nonetheless, he sees us with perfect clarity. He knows everything about us, including our most secret thoughts and our feelings. He understands how broken and weak we may feel at times. He remembers that we are dust, yet he chooses to love us with an everlasting love. The gift of God's love was indescribably costly. He endured unspeakable suffering to save us from an eternity in agony. He became sin for us so that in him we might have and become the righteousness of God. Ponder this wondrous truth. God's righteousness is now yours. This gift of infinite value has been yours ever since you trusted God. who saved you from your sins. Rejoice that the living one who sees you perfectly is the Savior who loves you always. Isn't that wonderful news for us to be able to claim as we remember today? Just how much God loves us. And as we gather around the communion table, as we partake of the elements, this too is a reminder for us of Jesus' sacrifice on the cross for us so that we could have forgiveness of sin, that we could be reconciled to God. As we gather at this time, let's remember that Jesus invites us to come. And may our thoughts as we pause at this time, be centered upon Him and upon the sacrifice that He has made for us, for all who will accept His gift of grace. May this be a time of rededication to Him and to His service. The Lord Jesus, in the night in which He was betrayed, He took bread and He broke it and said, This is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Let us give thanks for the bread. Lord God, as we remember your time on the cross, the sacrifice that you have made for us, the giving of your son Jesus to die in our place so that me, we may be reconciled to you. We offer you our sincere thanks today. In Jesus' name, amen. Eat this bread remembering Christ's body given for you on the cross of Calvary. In the same way also, he took the cup after supper, saying, 
This cup is a new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Let's give thanks for the cup. Heavenly Father, as the blood of Jesus flowed freely upon the cross of Calvary, it served to wash away our sins for those who would accept his gift of grace. Father, as we bow before you at this time, we confess our sin. We seek forgiveness. And we praise you for making this all possible. In your name we pray. Amen. Drink this cup, remembering Christ shed blood upon the cross of Calvary. I want to thank you for joining with me today for this time of uh, short devotional and communion. And I pray that God is speaking to you in your life, that he is drawing you ever closer to him through everything that's going on. God bless you all and have a great week.